Hi everyone, happy Friday. Today we are going to be doing lesson 20 from SIPS. Um, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so our sounds look a little bit different than last time I did a lesson with you. Um, so say bar, drop R, what's left, B. Say car, drop R, what's left, Say star, drop R, what's left, st. Say jar, drop R, what's left, j. Say far, drop R, what's left, f. Good job. So later on when we do spelling, not today, but another day, we might be using this car, card, card, and this is our art car page. It has the R sound, the sound we were just looking at. So let's learn our new spelling sound for today is R. That red car is mine. R sound, R again. My turn, R, your turn. Again, good. Okay, and let's do some practice ones. Sound, er. Again, sound, er, again, good, sound, er, again, good, sound, e, again, good, sound, e, again, Okay, now we are going to go to our mixed list reading page. I'm going to point to a word, ask you to read it, ask you to think about it, ask you to read it, and then I'll tell you the, what the word is at the end. Think, read, fair. Think, read, crust. Think, read, dark. Think, Read, cares, think, read, burp, think, read, stir, think, read, packed, think, read, hard, think, Read, speak, think, read, nerve, think, read, steered, that's a hard one, think, read, arm, think, read, fire. Think, read, clerk. Think, read, far. Think, read, surfing. Think, read, girl. Think, read, steam. Think, read, Keep, think, read, art. Good. And remember, if you are getting some of these wrong, no big deal. You're just, you're trying your very, very best and you can always go back and practice again. Okay. So next we are going to go over words with more than one syllable. So I know we've been practicing this. So I'm going to read the first syllable. The first syllable here is Care, read. Read the next syllable, less. Read the word, careless. That means if you're not like trying very hard on something, you're doing something careless. Read, fix, read, is, read, fixes. 
read fish, read er, read man. F read all together. Fish er man. So a man that fishes. Read her, read self, read herself. Good job. So those are words with more than one syllable and it's really helpful to break up those words when you're having trouble with them. And then if you know those little words, it's easier to put them all together. Okay, <clears throat> let's look at our words. We have three new sight words today. So exciting. Okay, our first word, our first new sight word is should. They should clean their room. Should. Read. Spell. Read. Spell. Read. Good job. Okay. Our next word is ever. Have you ever seen a penguin? Ever. Read. Spell. Read. Spell. Read. Good. Okay. And our last new word is never. He has never seen a penguin. Notice if you take away the N, it becomes ever again. So all you're doing is adding an N and it becomes a whole new word. It becomes a word never. Read. Spell. Read. Spell. Read. Good. Okay. Let's go over some of our sight words. Read. Spell. Read. A go. <laughs> Read. Mind. Spell. Read. Read. Kind. Spell. Read. Read. Answer. Spell. Read. Read. Nothing. Spell. Read. Read once, spell, read, read, word, spell, read, read, love, spell, read. Read, because, spell, read. Read, gone, spell, read. Read, few, spell, read. Read, sure, spell, Read. Read. Who? Spell. Read. Read. Push. Spell. Read. And last one. Read. Done. Spell. Read. Good. Okay, everyone, so the next thing that we are going to work on today is our spelling. So if you have a whiteboard or even just a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker, now's a really good time to get those out. My marker. Okay, the first word you are going to write is jar, j-r. Jar, right? Jar. Okay, 
you are going to spell that word J A R, jar. Okay. Your next word is mark. She put a mark on his paper. In mark, the sound k is spelled K. Mark. M R K. Mark. So one mark, M-A-R-K. Good. Okay. The next one is skirt. Skirt. It is fun sometimes to wear a skirt. Your question should be which er. So we're going to look at our bird page, and it is the second spelling, skirt. Okay. Skirt. You should have spelled skirt. S K I R T. Good. Okay, the next word is drop. I'll sound it out slowly. Drop. 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 You should have spelled drop, oh, right. D-R-O-P, drop. I know the D-R sounds like a J-R. It sounds very similar, but the dr is D-R and drop. <clears throat> okay, your next word is wood. Would you like to go get some ice cream? Wood, it is a sight word, so there's not a sound spelling for you. Wood. But it's not like the wood on a tree, it's a different kind, wood. It is W-O-U-L-D, wood. And the next word is could, spelled similarly, but different beginning sound, could. And remember, if I'm going too fast, feel free to just pause the video and take your time. Could. Could is C O U L D. Could. Good. Okay, <clears throat> now time for our sentence. Our sentence is Hear the bird chirp. Hear. Hmm, what kind of letter are we going to start for here? <sighs> is it going to be lowercase or capital? Hmm, beginning of a sentence. Here, your question should be which E, which E? Showing you with my fingers. Here. Okay. Here, you should have done capital H, E, A, R. Okay. The. The is another say word that I cannot help you with. The. Uh, you should have written the T-H-E, here, the. Remember, don't forget about your space in between the word here and the word the. Okay, here, the bird chirp, bird. Your question should be which er, b -er -d. bird, b -er -d. Bird. Bird should be B I R D. So B and then the I R and D. And our last word is chirp. Here the bird chirp. And your question again should be which er? And it's the same one. Ch. What makes that ch sound? Ch. Er. P. Ch. Hmm. Chirp. And don't fit your period at the end of your sentence. You should have spelled chirp. C-H-I-R-P. And don't fit your period at the end. Okay, my friends. Excellent, excellent job. Um, 
I hope you're all doing well and um, staying inside, washing hands all the time. Um, and don't forget the story is in the link below the story. Please read it. You can read it to yourself. You can read it to a grown up. You can read it to a brother or a sister or a cousin, anyone. You could read it to your dog, to your stuffed animal. Just really important to keep practicing. All right.